It's happening. I'm doing it again. I'm daring to step back into World of Horror. And I kindly invite you to join me as I take on all of Crafting Gods in this 1980s style horror game inspired by none other than one of the kings of horror himself, Jun J. Ita. And if you're not familiar with his work, shame on you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, so, Junji Ito. He is a Japanese manga artist. And his work is beautifully obscure, twisted, and um, uniquely disturbing. So, it's safe to say, we're in for quite the treat when we play this game. And, I have to say, I think this game is entirely underrated. So I think it deserves a little bit more love and appreciation. So this is my small attempt at doing that. And I highly recommend you check this game out for yourself as well, as each playthrough will be uniquely different depending on the choices you make and outcomes you get. So, if any of this piques your interest, sit back, relax, and please join me as I step into World of R. Now, before we begin, keep an eye out for any strange things you might see in the loading screens or any glitches throughout the game. Cause last time I played, I noticed some strange symbols and writing in one of the loading screens. How'd that get in there? <laughs> now, could it mean absolutely nothing and hold it no significance at all? Potentially. But, there might be some other secret things hiding within the game. So if you spot something and can figure out what it means, please do let me know in the comments and kindly enlighten me. Let us begin. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980s. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. <sighs> the rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who once ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Oh. The Eternal Web. Kathak Atorisu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Okay. So this is our old god we will dare to battle against. And what's the rule? You can't escape from combat encounters. I haven't even done that yet, so... <laughs> I this shouldn't be too bad. Now, and here we are. 1717. Decent knowledge. Strength is lacking a little bit. Okay, could be worse. So you see that lighthouse in the background. Why? Well, I believe it holds a secret to defeating this old god. But to get inside, we must solve five mysteries and obtain five keys to do so. Now, I've never actually been inside it, but hopefully, I'll get close to this playthrough. Let's begin this terrifying tale then. Oh no. There's something making sounds. Wait a second, skin removal, what's this? Oh. A spell. Nice. I know some magic, I can remove the skin of my enemies. What? So, kind of terrifying. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating a weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and those collected in the next room should point you to the right direction. Let's take a little look around here. Anything? Are those eyes or is that just a house? I, I hope it's just a house. Let's quickly uh, take a peek through the people. See if there's anything weird going on. Elevator's open. Is that somebody there? Or am I crazy? <laughs> Kinda looks like some eyes and maybe some legs and them slowly swaying. Oh, I'm not sure. We won't look into that too much. 
Hmm, strange. I'll leave and head to the mystery room. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. But why? Your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Yeah, pressure. What have we got? Rotten report of rancid ramen. Mmm, delicious. Well, last time I played, I didn't quite get to complete this one. So I am interested, but it seems I have some library notes. Let's quickly take a look here. They cover a few dusty and boring books. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can gain a random spell and lose one to two reason. Oh, I'm not so sure that's a good thing. Guys, without reason, it's game over. Maybe I'll sell this. Yeah, I think reason is more important than a spell. Let's trade it in. Look at that, one more fun. We can use this. Okay, let us die. step into the macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Oh, that's, yeah, still horrifying as I remember. There's one thing everyone at the school is talking about. Another girl from your era has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. Okay, so we have to go to the seaside twice to complete this quest. And we will start with downtown. Maybe we can shop for some items. Let's quickly take a look here. What are my options? Energy drink. Dexterity. Sewing kit. Ah, oh, this, this could be helpful when the time comes. Cigarettes. Ah, oh, two funds. It seems decent. One reason and as a new status. Camera. One knowledge. We already have a decent amount of knowledge, so it might not be necessary. But it's nice that I can potentially dodge. As additional inventory slots. I don't have the Yakuza card. Very unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'm thinking a sewing kit and cigarettes. Okay, that's what we're going for. I'm not done shopping. One more. Oh, it changed. Huh. Interesting. Well, now we have the potential for compass, experience, some salt, sewing kit. Still think that's a good option. Okay, we'll go sewing kit. Then I have one single fund remaining. Help me, I'm poor. No. Let's go downtown. There I go. All of my lonesome. So small. Stone statues. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the three circle park. You can cast one spell without paying anything. Can I? Huh. Interesting. I've never had this before. I'm not entirely sure what, what this is. I've never encountered such a thing. Do I take this opportunity and cast this spell and see what happens? Future me very much wants to shake past me right now. As you can see, I was hit with a wave of indecision, and I did not know what to do. Because clearly, as you can see, I'm very much still new to this game, and this decision here might have been a bad call. So, oopsie on my part. You know what, I'm gonna save it, which is uh, counts the effect of this. Asking on the neighborhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls attend the same school. Really? The same school? I guess we're going to school then. Still, it's so tiny. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from underneath the floor of the chemistry classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Ugh, no empty bottle. Risk it, take a detour. I'll, we'll take a detour. No, not the doom. <gasps> Better safe than sorry, you take the stairs up to the other floor to avoid the sludge. You know, I, I guess it could be worse. All the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnappers stalking them. 
Maybe. Maybe. I think this might be hinting at me to maybe go and learn some gossip and recruit allies. Okay, we're gonna do it. I think maybe it's hinting that I do this. So screw it. Oh. Someone walking behind. I've never been here either. Observe. He waves at you. Something seems off about them. Why? Why does it seem off? Share a creepy story. What's the latest gossip? He hasn't been the same since he came back. Really? What about you? Okay, pretty basic. What about you? Okay. I can force them to help me? <laughs> I'm gonna threaten them. Something tells me that might not be the best idea. I can assess the rooftop. Oh. Who are you? Let's talk to her. Leave her alone. I can't set up a telescope. But I can return. Strange. Very strange. Oh, they've changed. And who might you be? Mitchie is staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They seem relaxed. I like you, Mitchie. <laughs> you know, you're, you're kind of strange. And I like that about you. <laughs> you might be the chosen one. What's your gossip? Is there? How about you come and join me, Mitchie? You don't have time for games. Well, now I just feel rejected. This is not a game. This could be life and death and you're missing out. What about you? Something off. I'm sure nothing bad will come from that. I keep hearing a wailing sound coming from the third stall in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> Ah, I see it was strange and peculiar. Kyrie is reading a horror manga about spirals. They look fine. Are you reading Uzumaki by Junji Ito by a chance? I hope you'll join me. I'm not a kidder. Come on, join me. Why won't anyone join me? I can't even share a creepy story. But I can force you to help me. Do I? What about you? Will you join me? Oh, okay. Student E will join me. The one that there's something off about him. That couldn't possibly go wrong, could it? I guess I'll leave with Student E. Let's investigate. Me and my new best bud, Student E. Suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. Oh, you have a glitch for eyes. Time will by. Mm. Let's see here. Whilst I'm here, I'm gonna study you, get a weapon, and then... I'm gonna... do nothing, apparently. What the fuck? Alright, that's all I can fit in here right now, so let's see. What can we learn? A wiki and shop object. Good thing I have a broken bottle. Equip it. Alright, we're going in. Nice and strong here. Let's see. Did I do anything? You're stealing my lifespan! Bruh. How dare you! Hey! <laughs> In that case, I'm going on with the big guns. Gonna prep it and attack twice. See you like this. Oh yeah, we're doing some nice damage here. Nice. Let's do it again. Just get rid of him. He's doing way too much damage to me. Yeah, get resolved. Get out of here. Ooh, you find a notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club itself. And mermaids. Ah, let's go to the morbid school. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside are viciously attacking the windows. Mine, your stamina and reason. Oh, come on. Oh, did you see that? I saw something there. <laughs> Secrets in the loading screens. Oh, who's this? Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed about mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading to the sea directly to the school building. Oh. It does say to travel to the seaside location, so let's, uh, go and see real quick. While well, I have my little friend here. 
crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. Search the body, I kinda want to. We're doing it. No, oh, my stamina. Dexterity check failure. Reaching for the body, you're attacked by several crabs. <laughs> I don't want to share their meal. I wasn't gonna eat it, okay? Yikes. I just wanted to see what was happening is all. No. We're a little low and I just saw our sun. Delightful. Okay. Let's go back downtown then. It's guiding us. To the restaurant. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out its throat. Ooh, I can steal a gun. <laughs> Check his wounds for clues. Hmm. I kind of want to take the gun. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. We're doing it. Screw it. Uh-oh. That might have been bad. He won't be needing it for sure. <laughs> but you still feel bad for stealing from a corpse. Yeah, yeah. That might have been a bad call. But now we have a pew pew. You know? So let's equip that and get the hell out of here. And maybe... I should use one of these. Okay, that gives me more stamina. What do cigarettes do? Okay, it's time to use the cigarettes. Give me back something. I got a nicotine rush. Oh, there's something wrong here. A weird apathy seems to infect every adult you ask for help. You will have to deal with it alone. No! Did I lose my friend or? Please don't go. Hmm. It's great having you here. Let's continue to investigate. A sudden growl coming from a corner makes you stop. Oh, your jaw is hanging off slightly and your eyes are pulsating, ma'am. All right. You pull the gun's hammer back, preparing for combat. We're gonna annihilate her. Hey, no, stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. My friend is strong, so we're using my friend. And I'm going in for a heavy attack. What does this do against you? Ouch. You bash the ghoul. The ghoul scratches you. Ouch. Right on my face. How dare you. Okay. Prepare the attack. And then... Die. Die. I will demolish you. <laughs> Heavy again. No time to waste. Get out of here. I have things I need to replenish. I've taken a hit. You compare this to a plan with a school map and it suddenly dawns on you. School basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. To the basement we venture down. Me and E over here. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. No, oh, I have no choice because I don't have that bug. Ah, oh, you're stealing my stamina. You grasp an R, the twisted face, and impossible angles and enormous monoliths make you sick. Ugh. Resolve the event. Oh, it's a lot of blood. Oh my. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's alright. Let's go. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, her upper torso at least. The tail of a fish has been crudely sewn in place of her legs. She was too weak and died. You hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. We're preparing ourselves. Well, we got a gun. Not giving up after the previous failure. The obsessed janitor has found another body to experiment on. You. I don't think so. You might have an axe, but I got a gun. You brought an axe to a gunfight, buddy. Okay. Are you stupid or something? Uh-oh. So, as you can see, this guy will take away two of my stamina with every round. And clearly, I'm not doing too hot on the stamina front. And when that reaches zero, it's game over. So I had to think of something. Boss. Ooh, look at these. A 
spark from the broken bulb should set the highly flammable cleaning fluids on fire. Let's do that. Burn it all down. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm looking a little rough. <laughs> should I have done that? It's about sending a message. Everything burns. I got a serious burn, but I'm not dead. Fire and water. Suddenly, the mutilated girl moans quietly and twitches. The fish tail causes the lamp to fall and break, igniting the chemicals. Mad janitor catches fire and starts screaming terribly. You try to avoid him as he thrashes around the room, setting everything on fire. Thick smoke and the smell of burning flesh makes you feel weak. Continue. Hey, no need education. <laughs> You are rescued by the fireman, trying to contain the fire. No trace of the mad janitor is found, and no one believes your story. But you will sleep a little better tonight, knowing that the other students are safe. Ending C. Okay, not bad. So I'm basically dead, but not bad. Oh, oh gods. Ooh, let's see their effects. Still close. No, oh, the friendly dog disappeared last night. You have to find a new place to buy equipment. <gasps> oh no. Not good. I guess it's good that I spent money already. Give me the key. Oh yeah, we got a key in the mailbox. I think we should probably rest up. Okay, so our stamina was bad last time. So maybe I should freshen up a little bit and as always people okay there was a person there last time watching us and now I'm the one watching through the people I'm the weird one now <laughs> weird buddy you're weird oh yeah real creepy oh, I'm ahead I'm so being strange and next on the list Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. Let's do it. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlight night, when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away, a single lantern swinging in the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one, they disappear. Soon, the ocean will have taken them all. Ooh, a siren made out of goo. Ah, did you see that? There was something here. I don't know what it was, but it was something. <laughs> ah, you saw your investigation, hoping to hear some rumors at the fish market. Okay, downtown. Let's go. Wait a second. Discard two item cards. Complete this quest. Huh. Really? Never done that before. Again, I am still very new to this game, so if you have any tips for me, please do share them with me. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Ooh. Invite for a coffee. I can deal with that. I had one friend left anyway. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for horrific events? I think so. Thank you, friend with the skull t-shirt. Look at him giving me the side eye. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Okay, let's go visit the wife. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Ugh, I don't know how good our perception was. Hmm, my strength wasn't great either, so... Uh, I'll lose more stamina if I run. 
I guess I'll keep continue looking. Obsession check failure. Yeah, I thought so much. You can't seem to find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time for finally admitting defeat. Ah, shame. I don't think I had the sense to take on any of those options. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through a dusty window, you recoil in shock. Do I? What are we seeing? Room. You feel watched. Oh yeah, those are eyes. Damn it, no holy candle. Ah, my reason. Ouch. Stored items. Oh, we don't have any more stored items. They all disappeared from my last one. Oh no. How am I gonna discard item cards? Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Somebody's dead. Oh. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen. Mutilated and covered in black marks. Oh god. It's not good. Come on, E. To the manor. In the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. No. You fall onto the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images. As the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. <gasps> We've been fooled. <gasps> ah! <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like Wendigo. <laughs> I see the resemblance. The hair, the facial hair? Oh, yeah. I went through my house to get a band-aid, and the only one I could find is like, I think it's a Paw Patrol one? I don't know, I've never even seen Paw Patrol. And my wife and I are in our mid-twenties. I can't even remember the last time I saw a child. I have no idea what these are doing in my house. This is the scariest thing that's happened to me all day. Gives us doom. Could be worse. Well, you know what? I can't even buy items, to so I think I'm kind of screwed for this one. Prepare my attack and then... Go in swinging. Obliterate this man. I'm sorry, Wendigo, I'm sorry. He's very much almost dead, so prepare my attack. And go again, full swinging. Ah! Wait, what's that? You found an item. Curious statuette. Ooh, let's see here. Place item in storage. Yes, we'll do that. Ah, I saw a pentagram. Did you see it? Did you see it? Mm, secrets. Okay. Jolie, someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around, hoping to spot one of them. Ah, oh, let me see these. One knowledge, held while in inventory. Now I have my sewing kit once more. I think I need the stamina, so I'm gonna use it. Also, these two. I know that uh, I must discard two item cards. So, I might have to do something very soon. Ugh. Do I discard it? Let's do it. There we go. Halfway. We'll see what's going on with this curious statue first, though. To the seaside. Oh, we're having a beach day. Come on, E. <gasps> Bad feeling. That's me right now. This is me. The fear in my eyes. No. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location threat level rises. Oh no, and I just got rid of my weapon. No, don't like that. Young man has glossy eyes, mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arms disturb you. Huh, that is disturbing. You have a point. Oh, what was that? What was that? For a split second, there was something there, but I, I don't know what that is. There are so many things hidden in the body screens. What are we looking at here? The waves lazily clash upon the shore. You take a deep breath. Fresh eye clears your head. Gaining one reason. Let's freaking go. Nice. 
Fantastic. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Really? Tell me more. The military exercise makes you feel safer, but our guns are not to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there. We got more reason, but increase on the doom. But hey, it's a polo victory. Can't win them all. Again, something. What was that? This goes too fast. I'm gonna have to look at it in editing. And look at it in editing. I did. And honestly, I don't know what that is. Maybe all of these strange symbols make up one big image. But what do you see? You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified what comes next. Okay. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. Ooh, ominous. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across the dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Hmm. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight, and it's pitch black again. There is nothing to do now. You head home. The weird chant still in your head. Look at us, looking a little rough. Oh, we solved it, huh? Hell yeah. No one spoke with the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Ending B. So, uh, I didn't discard another item. I still have this curious statuette. Huh. But it was solved, nonetheless. Ah. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. Don't tell me twice. I will go straight away. Ooh. What do we have here? Okay, our knowledge is doing very well. We're looking a little low on stamina. We're choosing stamina and, uh, what are these? Arcane Grasp. Two additional spell slots available. Nah. Second sight. Additional damage against ghosts and eldritch enemies. This could be good. Yeah. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. You know, I think this one could be pretty ideal, especially against the Eldred enemies. So let's do it. Give me that extra pug, me and shoot an ear. Hell yeah. Because he's my best friend, he's my pal. He's my homeboy, my rotten soldier. Let's see what the effect is. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be a radio mass failure. Oh no. We really are alone. The ominous lighthouse has been closed for longer than you can remember. Let's use some of our keys. I have one. Lame. Can I unlock any more? No. I guess I have to go and collect my mailbox still. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Back home we go. Another day. Mm, it's quiet. Oh, no, it's not quiet. I got jump scared. There's something living in number 25. Badness. Unless that's our one. I don't know, but I'll take the key. Yoink! Ah. Uh, should take a bath again. What are options here? Extra reason gained. Small XP boost. Stamina. I don't know what a stamina. I think it would be 12. So... If I do that a little bit more, it may benefit me. A reason was 14, so I think, uh... Stamina could still be gained. Okay, nice. As always, straight to the people. <gasps> it's back. It's watching me again. <gasps> oh god, I scared myself. I pressed it and I didn't think anything was gonna happen, but it just sent me back. <laughs> I just <laughs> jump scared myself. Oh, Take me to the good old mystery board. Ricky found footage. I've got one ending of this, so maybe I can do better this time. This was an enticing one. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends in the nearby forest. Oh yeah, we got a Blair Witch moment. Now on the first anniversary of their disappearance, 
A suspicious man, I started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Hmm. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he? And what did the students discover out there? We must find out. I must investigate the mansion at least twice to complete this quest. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about the local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known location in the school's newspaper. Maybe. I don't know how to get a newspaper. So we're going straight for the beach. In the summer of 1971, an entire class ship fell into the sea when a rock they were standing on collapsed. Their bodies were never found. Until now. Oh, it's an awful amalgamation of corpses. And what is going on? <laughs> Class of 71. The Horus. Ugh. Give me a boost. Prepare the attack. Say hello to my little friend. Yes. 15. You know what? Can I get a weapon? I would like to get a weapon if I can do that. Do some damage. Broken bottle. Yes. Equip the bottle. Smalling me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm so beat up. Okay. Let's take out this monstrosity. Be gone with you. <laughs> there were scribblings down there. I saw that. Hmm. Let's quickly travel to the mansion. It says it's one of the tasks to complete in this quest, so. We'll see. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anyway. Ah, search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. An energy drink. Yes. Ah, dexterity. You know what? We'll use it. Screw it. Yeah! To the school. Let's find this newspaper. Look, there's one lying around in the classroom. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. Oh, oh no. Close the door. I'm leaving. I would leave. Oh no. You might be paranoid. <laughs> but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. No, thank you. No, thank you. Goodbye, Reason. Slowly dwindling. The nurse mentioned a village not far from your town. You decide to take the bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? I don't know, but we must quickly run to the mansion. Investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Oh, sure. Take a bath. Yeah. You bathe happily and continue your newfound strength. Excellent. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the legend says the witch was burned alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you to a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. You know, I'm kind of burnt and crispy myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. So I understand the pain. Yeah. Now, let's continue forth. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the street, but you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Yeah, I just gained that, and I'm losing it. Ugh. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. Wait, didn't they just disappear? What is this witchcraft? I guess if it's a storyline. Mm-hmm. An old farmer points you to an old stone. A missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. Really? To the inn. No. Oh. Not my stamina. The bear has been following you since this morning. You finally managed to lose him, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Damn you and your creepy demonic eyes. Oh, more things. Oh, I'm in the forest. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. Boom. Take me to the thicket of the woods. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Disgusting! Sure. Ooh. Knowledge check success. Yes. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east, 
make a mental note to avoid the region. So, would that technically don't go this way then? Not sure. To the clearing. The room at which his house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointing to the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each tied to one of the missing friends. Then, you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Ooh. I am tempted. The last time I took the cassettes and I ran. So, let's peek inside. Oh, that's a giant eyeball. Wishing well. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as a gargantuan beast lures you in. Time to pass out. Duh. At the very last moment, a suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar. <gasps> My hero. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you, I, I guess. <laughs> okay. You wake up a few hours later on the bus, heading back to your town. Freaky feature found footage ending B. Alright, I've got two endings now. Very nice. I wonder how else it could go. It's always fun to see these old twists and turns and how the story changes. Ah, dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Oh no. We're having a hard time, it seems, in the town. We're not doing too good with our burned down school. Oops, I will take the blame for that. I tried being rational. Okay, Stop what happened? banging at me. Shop is closed. We're completely cut off from the outside world. And we have riots. Excellent. Give me the key. Time to take another bath. Again, I think my stamina was the lowest. Or was it reason? I feel like I'm dying inside. We'll go with reason this time. Ah, 45% doom. But the most important thing is... The people! <gasps> Finally, somebody being creepy. Probably just my imagination. Ha ha, if you say so. That was definitely a weird neighbor. For once, I'm not the weird neighbor. You sure about that? Ugh, a new mystery. Okay, we got two left. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Let's do it. Are we talking superheroes? What is this? A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. Who is Akamanto? What was originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. <sighs> the school's principal has banned the game, but that's only made it more popular. Uh-oh. Isn't that always the way? Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Investigate the mystery. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses, and he intends to complete the dangerous die. Oh, we have a madman on our hands. <laughs> we just have to gather gossip. Not so bad. Not so bad. To the schoolyard. Oh no, I forgot I burned it down. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe the rooftop. He's still crying? No, she still doesn't want to talk with me. Okay, I'll stop bothering you. Can I? No, I can't do anything. Goodbye. Ugh, alright, I'll let my head out. Never mind. Oops. We'll just investigate the school. If only he knew some gossip. You find an old trophy case in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Huh? Why would we... Why would we do that? Maybe I can sell it. Huh? Maybe? Screw it. <laughs> we'll do it. You break into the glass window, cutting yourself a little bit in the process. Yeah, yeah, I thought so much. Metal is made of gold, but you'll be able to sell it easily. <laughs> okay. I'm just robbing from the school I burned down. I am a terrible person. You reported it to your principal. Who promises he will take care of it? Wait, I reported myself. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not the case. Uh, I just stole from the school, so... That's a, a risky choice. But your friend's safe for now. You should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city library make a mention of Akamanta. Huh, okay. 
Let's do it. Off to the building. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly, without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wanted to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Ah, uh, I guess. Yeah, there's no hopes there. Oh, strength failure. While moving the wardrobe through the doorway, you make a wrong step and sprain your freaking ankle. It's nothing serious. Thought you'll have a problem walking for a few days. I had no choice in the matter. For I have no funds. You read a story about a vengeful samurai, known for wearing a crimson red cape. It's an interesting find for sure, but you need to find more information. More info. I'm knowledge hungry. No, oh, stubborn receptionist. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Huh. I guess we're gonna have some chitter chat. Duh. No, I have terrible charisma. You weren't able to convince the receptionist to let you access the database. This has been a waste of time, and an increase in doom. Oh, come on, man. One of the articles mentioned a young daughter who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet store. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Let's go. I wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoying predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal. A human finger! Ugh! Why did I do that? <laughs> It's not like I have a spider as an old god that's tormenting the entire town or anything. I'm just messing with his little minions. Bad move. Bad move. But I did get a rock ring. So, who's the real winner here? Surprisingly heavy. It's not actually made of stone, is it? Ooh. Aw, oh, minus two max reason. Hmm. Shame I can't equip it and have a little knuckle duster kind of moment with my weapons. That would be nice. Hey, look at that. I can level up. Stamina is needing to be increased. What do we got here? Art knowledge. You've got an eye for art and details. Leadership. Charisma. Yeah. Quick thinking. Our knowledge is already pretty high. So let's go with dexterity. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today. And another body has supposedly been found. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Heal injuries. Oh. Ooh. Do I? I'm pretty burnt. We're gonna do it. What, what's the option here? Doctor's office, move to corridor. Can I do anything? Can I interact with anybody? Can I do anything? No, I can't. Give me that extra doom and heal me. Heal my burns. The emergency department is crowded as the direct result of the weird things happening in your town. You will finally ask the doctor's office. Now, how can I help you today? Can you heal my burns, please? Nice. That's really good. I appreciate that. Now I'm a little less crispy. I don't look like a burnt chicken nugget. To the school. Ooh. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you aren't the only shooter here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she gets closer. Ah, young witch. Hello. Uh, oh, minus four to stamina? Ooh, you're dangerous. Ooh, you're dangerous. I'm death. Straight up. I need to get rid of you very quickly. Let's do two hits. Let her remove her as quick as possible. Give me an extra. How does that do? Mm. Oh, she just slaughtered me. Help me! Help me! I gotta be honest, watching this play out was. Tragic. I had nothing left in me to give. Not a damn thing. I tried. I tried. I can... meditate. Ugh. Doesn't help. 
I can't bail. In that case, stabby stabby. Go. Please end her. No! Minus four! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's real bad. Quickly. <laughs> I got her. Oh! Wait, what's that? Pick it up. Box cutter. Broken. Can I still use it as a weapon, though? That's my question. It looks like it'll break very easily. Uh, eh, could be better. I'm basically a corpse, though, anyway. <laughs> mm, it is what it is. Damn you, young witch. No! Oh, yeah, I... I realized I couldn't even help myself there. I... I... Deceased. Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumbed to your injuries. Alone. Not even E was there to help me. <laughs> My ally was pointless. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Old God is ready to return once more. You've perished. Cause of death, stamina loss. Yeah, that, that last opponent was a really heavy hitter. Minus four stamina with each hit. That's kind of tough. Kind of tough. Well, there you have it. One step closer to unlocking the godforsaken lighthouse. I must know what's in there. And I must defeat an old god. <laughs> I have a need, a desire, a want. But for now, I will stay shrouded in mystery. And I will continue on. And maybe one day, I'll get to that lighthouse. Well, thank you so much for watching and joining me. And until next time, please take care of yourself. I hope to see you in the next one.